Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Remake. You're here with Tony Tony. And in the last part, it was the same part as the next part because I didn't realise how long I was recording for. Uh, my computer's got to break if I try and process it all in one. It was 50 minutes long, so I'm, I'm using this as kind of a divider. So I'm going to say see you from the last part. And uh, in the next part, it'll be the same intro slash out so outro. So see ya. And then hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Remake. I'll see you in the next part. Take that all day. And there's something else here as well. Will you take the self-defense gun? Suicide note. June 22nd, 1998. I had to do it. We ran from those things, but helping each other to survive. But Robert started to show symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were another way around. If it were the other way around, even. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is a regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand that and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. Okay, so uh, he's clearly let Linda down. <laughs> Oh boy, there was not really anything of use in here. And he's definitely going to come alive. So let's just get, get over with. Oh god. There's not, not even anything in here. I'll oh, we'll pull the plug. There's something inside the bathtub. Will you take the control room key so it's a key item area? Nope. <laughs> Just nope. Yes, yeah, so I've explored all areas of that room. Okay. <laughs> right, I'll put this away. And I'll put this away. I believe we need though, actually. I don't think we need this just yet. Because I remember, if I remember rightly, you use it in the cabin. We're not going to be in the cabin. We're going to be in the, the little lab section. locked the door plate reads gallery so I need the gallery key I'll climb down the ladder I do, I do love love this soundtrack I mean, this this is quite ominous. I'm just going to let you hear it for a while while I, uh, while I walk around here. It's 
So it's a sense of uneasiness. Uh, this is clearly a puzzle room. Okay, so... Ah. Ah, it's not that, that hard at all. In fact, I believe they kind of reused this in the uh, original Resi 2. Whether this was in the, the first Resi, uh, like the original or director's cut on the PlayStation 1. But yeah, they had a similar puzzle in Resident Evil 2 where you control Ada uh, if you're playing as Leon and Sherry if you play as Claire. Which they didn't have in the remake of, uh, of Resident Evil 2. And although it's, it's a great game, uh, don't get me wrong, I love it, it actually scared me a little bit. <laughs> Considering I, I played Resident Evil 2, the original one, a lot. <laughs> uh, I don't have it anymore, unfortunately. Uh, as I probably would play it again. But um, there's, there's things that Resident Evil 2, the remake, did well. But there's also things that it, it could have done better. Like the enemies, for example, they're great. Uh, getting around them and blowing off their limbs instead of instead of actually killing them is a, is a great way to save ammo. And the liquors. Oh god, the liquors. <laughs> anyway, more on that when we uh, when we get to it after I finish this playthrough and, and Chris's play playthrough. I will be starting that. Uh, I don't know whether to do Resident Evil Zero. That is one I've, I've never completed. So it'd be a good challenge, I suppose. No. Leave me alone. I don't like sharks and sharks don't like humans. It's a myth. <laughs> we know that you're not the only one. Or the only two. That is a great soundtrack. Use the control room key. There's no further use of this key. Just got it? Yes. Uh, is there anything in this room? No. So, you know what? You can keep it. Keep it to yourself. Right, where am I? The warning lamp indicates that there's an emergency. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> could be the fact that the uh, that place, that room. Oh god, what was that? Okay. Okay, so what's in here? Two green herbs. Perfect. Uh, what? We've got no daggers. Uh, to be fair, we've been managing on low. <laughs> uh, there is no need to adjust the pressure right now. Okay, so uh, that's not telling me what I need to do. The door is held tightly shut by the pressure of the water. Fair enough. So yeah. That one looks uh, slightly bigger than the others. Okay, is there a note around here? Because I don't just start. I don't. Controls from the main system. Everything seems to be in proper working order. Ah. There's a map of the aqua ring. Take it. Right. So we came to there's a door on that side? I did not know that. Okay, so that's somewhere I'll I'll want to to head to. Uh not right now though. Okay, so there's something else in here. Uh, is it something to do with this? Caution, in case of dropping oil pressure control, open valve 2. Okay, 
So dropping oil pressure open valve two. A pressure shelter. A pressure shelter. Okay, so there's two. An error message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong while uh, the water is being drained. There is a switch to drain the water. Press it. Okay, yeah. Oh God. Uh, okay, so release the safety. The safety mechanism for the pressure shelter is off. Oh God, what do I, what do I do? No, don't do it again. <laughs> There's a control for the pressure shelter. Pull, pull it. Yes, yes. Oil pressure loss, shelter operation terminated. Restore oil pressure, then release the safety. Okay, so it's valve two. It's a good job I read that, I'll s Press which switch? Two. Oh, it comes all the way up again. Okay, uh, so, release the safety. And then pull the switch again. Okay, that's done. Okay, so that, that went too bad. Uh, drain the water, yes. The water's been completely drained. Okay. So, what's through here? Okay, so what's that door lead to? Up. Oh, right, so that's up there. To that locked door. Okay, so I'll go there after, I suppose. Anything around here? Anything at all? Diving suits and nets. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. Oh, hey ho, shotgun shells. I'll take those. <laughs> Materials labeled dynamite. They're soaked beyond use. Okay. So, is it just shotgun shells in here? Yep. Yeah. Okay then. Uh, that's very much alive. <laughs> and then there's this one. Code name Neptune. And he is also very much alive because he's still in the water. So, uh, there's a generator for the water flow control system. Pull the lever? No. Because I remember how to do this. What you do is you... Uh, do you try and take the key first? You try and take the key first. <laughs> and then it falls next to the, the giant big shark, which is clearly sorting some battle damage. And then you push this. So that's it. Kills you in one bite. <laughs> Generate for the water flow. Can put uh, pull the lever down. Yes, and then then it shorts out, and you kill the giant shark. Well, from what I can tell, you kill the giant shark. And then you just uh, just go past him to get this key. Will you take the residence key? I'm guessing that's that's for the gallery. Yeah. It says gallery on it. So we are done here. I don't mind sharks.
They're more terrible than spiders. <laughs> Right, so uh, I'm going to go back up this way. Just to see what was in that room. Oh, I missed the door. Completely missed the door. I thought it was a big double door. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is... Locker is completely soaked. There's nothing special inside. Uh, there's, there's something here. I can see it. There's some handgun bullets. I don't care about the locker. Just give me the bullets. I know they're there, I can see them. Right, I'll get them at a later date, I suppose. <laughs> There's a big plant in the way. So, that is plant 42. I'm guessing that's its roots. Okay. So the water's drained, so I won't be able to get through the way I came in. That makes sense. Uh, down this ladder. And I think I'll head back to the save room uh, with this gallery key. So this is why I believe I need to go. Oh, what is that? I know exactly what that is, so I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Will you take the Magnum rounds? Hell yeah. To be fair, what I really want is defensive items. <laughs> they seem like they'd be a lot more useful than Magnum rounds right now. You unlocked it. Woo! Back up to the residence then. Still worried that zombies are going to come back through. <laughs> I doubt it's going to come through to this door though. Use the gallery key. There's no further use of the key. Discard it, of course. Okay, so we're making good progress, guys. Handgun ammo. I'll have a bit of that. Oh, I remember this. So I've got to come grab this here. A corpse. Uh, a corpse with con contorted expression of pain on his face. He's holding something. And I'm taking something. Insecticide spray. Because these get really annoying. As we can tell from that episode where there was just one. <laughs> Okay, so what you do is we now take this map. There's still something in that room. You got the map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. I know. I'm, what I'm going to do is use this. I believe you need to do that as well for a key item. 
but now we have no trouble with bees or wasps I, I don't know what they are pretty sure they're bees and it did say there was something else in here so what I'm going to do is go to where the bees were will you take the residence key okay and what key is that I'm guessing it's three because that's the door we were just at okay yeah, he's been stung to death so this will be the room I need the book okay use the there's no further use of the key discard it yes okay is there anything else in this room yes door lock mechanism use it uh, okay so I don't, I don't know uh, what that's for okay so what where is uh ah it's a red herb it's been a while since we've seen one of those it's locked from the other side so if you couldn't tell in this room is where the, uh, the plant 42 is which is a predecessor to plant 43 which I believe is in uh, Resident Evil 2 a big big plant <laughs> it's like a like a beanstalk okay so in here there is a typewriter I, which I don't trust because there's no uh, there's no item box are they butterflies? a giant plant is crushing the wall a swarm of angry moths surround it Uh, the bookshelf is lined with red books. There is one white book sandwiched in between them. <laughs> is it Jill sandwiched? Okay, now. Organic chemistry lab experiment. The similarities in the cellular, cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an, in, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that chemical in a UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given the UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the roots of a plant, the entire plant should be dead within 5 seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. UMB number 3, red. Yellow 6, yellow. Oh, pardon me. Uh, UMB number 7, green. UMB number 10, orange. VP017, blue. VJOL dark brown so we need to make a dark brown chemical and I believe that's it for this room so far I'll go into the bathroom and hope I don't get attacked by anything in particular I don't think there'll be anything in here except another bath the roots of some kind of giant plant are sticking out from the wall it's full of dirty water pull the plug Anything in there? The, the, there's nothing in there. Nothing in this room at all. Nope. Okay, so we've got to get into that room that we couldn't get into then. We do have a book, but I know that's the book you need to, to just access the room with Plant 42. Uh, where am I going? Okay. 
So to get into this room, which I clearly didn't just brute force because it didn't work. Oil. Oil things. We need the lighter. Uh, where the spiders were. Okay, so get to the room with spiders in. I need the lighter first. So, I think I'm going to save it. Uh, but I'll get, a, get everything prepared. I don't need these. Don't need this. Don't need this. Wow, we're really making our way up with the herbs. <laughs> How many have we got? Oh, we've got plenty. Uh, I'll put these away. 22 showers, that's looking alright. Uh, I need that, and I need that. And we'll give it a cheeky save. Use the ink ribbon. Yes, yes, I will. Over save two. Okay, and that is all I have time for today, guys. So, I'll see you in the next part. See ya.